What's going on Legionnaires and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you're new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button, hit that notification bell and make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. Now for this video, we're going to be diving into Cable issue number 10. And if you haven't been keeping up with the Cable line, go ahead and check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It's going to get you completely caught up on everything going on in this awesome line. Now right now, Cable's life, it's been non-stop chaos. Accumulating in the revelation that Strife, his enemy, his clone of his older self is still alive and well. Now this is written by Gary Dugan, artist is Phil Notto, and letterer is VC's Joe Sabino. And with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright guys, so as we get into issue number 10, we pick up in Krakoa, and Cable seems to be doing some kind of stealth mission. He's sneaking through the brush, and he's spying on what appears to be Professor Xavier's living quarters. And he's sitting here thinking to himself that he hopes someday everyone's going to be able to forgive him for what he's about to do. And this is where we see him pull a pin on a grenade. But before he's able to throw it, this is where we see the arrival of Emma Frost. And she's telling Nathan, like, there, there's definitely less painful paths to exile that don't involve assaulting the house of M. And Emma tells him, you know, you need to explain yourself and you need to do it quickly. And he tells her, you know, it's just some knockout gas because he needs to knock out Xavier. Because he needs Cerebro. Because the other guy is back. And this is when Cable shows her telepathically exactly what he's talking about. And he lets her know, you know, he made a mistake. He thought it was safe to come back here from the future. But Strafe has grown more powerful because he wasn't there to fight him. And this is when Emma, she pulls out a flask and she's like, Alright, well, I guess... I guess this means we are under serious threat from your doppelganger. Because he's after the five. And, and Cable, he's just... He's struggling so hard right now, he, like, he doesn't understand why Apocalypse did all of this. Because he's responsible for turning Strife into the threat he's become. And Emma tells him, you know, follow the logic. Why did, why did Apocalypse do any of the horrid things that he ever did? And it's because he wanted to make mutants stronger. And in this particular case, Nathan, his family, they're extraordinary. Apocalypse created Strife. But what it really was, was kind of like a whetstone upon which him and his family could sharpen themselves. And then Emma tells him he should probably go talk to his dad. He should probably talk to Cyclops about all of this. Now, before she takes off, he asks if Esma is mad at him. And, you know, she kind of is. He, in the last issue, jumped off a boat and hasn't talked to her since. And Emma tells him, you know, of course she is. You know, she's filled with adolescent rage right now. Because you kind of dipped on her and didn't say anything. And ju it's just adding to the, the ever-growing stack of issues that Cable is having to deal with. Now this is where we pick up with Jumbo and Cyclops. Now currently Cyclops is getting fit for the gala. Everybody's preparing for this thing. And this is where Cable finds them. And he tells Cyclops, you know, he tells Scott, he, he needs a minute. He needs to be able to talk to him about something. And Cyclops tells him, yeah, let's talk, but we have to talk on the move. Because right now... I just got a message from, from Emma, and it seems there's some stuff going down in London right now. Because it looks like some of our cousins from Arako, they've gotten themselves in some trouble. And then they go through a gate, and this brings them to London. To a bar in London. Now we gotta remember, these, these new mutants, all they've known is war on their island. So the transition to a peacetime era, it's going to have some bumps in the road. And this is exactly what Cyclops tells Cable. Now, before going inside, they have a quick conversation. Because right now, they don't know the, the mutants' power sets that are inside. They don't really know anything about them. They just know that they've been causing quite a commotion in this bar. And they started a, a bar brawl. But Cyclops also wanted to mention, they wanted to talk to him about the X-Men election. That he shouldn't be shy about wanting it. Because at the end of the day, he would be a wonderful candidate. And it's important that young mutants are shown the ropes so the next generation is prepared to defend the planet. And this is when they go in. And they run into Castor and Pollux. And they're definitely, you know, rough around the edges. They're not here to do anything other than drink. And with the Krakoans walking in the door, they can smell them. And they're just like, hey... Like, P.O., get out of here, man. Like, we're, 
we're done with you. We're, we don't even want you in this bar as soon as you enter this. Now, it doesn't take long, and we all know what's going to happen here. And the fight breaks out. And Caster is taking on Cyclops, while Pollux is taking on Cable. And this fight goes all over the place, with Cyclops getting knocked out of the bar and thrown for a loop. And Cable, Cable hits Pollux on the head with his sword, and it looks like she's knocked out, but she was only playing possum. Now, Cyclops and Cable, they, they've played around long enough. And Cyclops lets Caster know, like, this is your last chance. This is your last opportunity before I, before I have to do what I have to do. And Caster keeps coming, picks up a police motorcycle, and goes to smash him. And this is where Cyclops hits her with a blast in the face. It hits off her face and ricochets into the sky, launching her into the bar building nearby. And inside, Cable and Pollux are still going at it, and Pollux... She throws something at him, and this kind of this kind of makes him mad. He's like, "Hey, right, listen, if you're gonna throw stuff, I'm gonna throw stuff back." And this is when he pulls out his pistol and he shoots her in the leg, and then she passes out. And so he throws her over his shoulder and heads outside. Now, during this entire fight, Scott and Nathan they were having a conversation. Though this was probably not the best time to have this conversation, Cable told him, you know, that he needs to talk about the other guy. Now, Cyclops' immediate response is no. Like, there's no way in hell we're doing that. We need you here, and we need you now. And if you go back, you could just be ruining everything that we've set into place to stop that future from happening. Now, he tells them, you know, Scott's just not doing it. He's not having it. You know, over his dead body, will he resurrect the old man? He tells him his day is done, and the future, it belongs to him. It belongs to Nathan. Now, this is where we pick up in another place and another time. And we see Old Man Cable. Now, in the last issue, he had fallen into a cavern. He was trapped by somebody. And in this issue, we're getting a small glimpse of his captors. Now, he's slowly been waiting for them to come in here. Kind of playing possum, if you will. And they make their appearance... And this is where he takes the opportunity to grab his sword and he beheads them on the spot. Well, he beheads one of them and the other two stand nearby and Cable asks, who's first? And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. This one was a little bit quick. You know, it was really just him going to Cyclops and talking to him about what he wants to do, about what he has to do. He feels like he has no other option. And though Cyclops is against this, I think at the end of the day, he's going to end up seeing Cable's side of this. Because if Strife gets out of hand, nothing's going to be able to stop the guy. But like Emma Frost said, you know, Strife was, was the creation to sharpen Cyclops and his family. To sharpen Cable. To sharpen all of them. And so I think we're going to see a really awesome team up as this story progresses along. You know, we're going to see the whole family coming together to be able to take on Strife. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you have not yet, do me a favor and hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you're not missing any of the content we have coming out. If you have not checked it out yet, Keanu Reeves comic, The Berserker, issue number two hit today. So be sure to go check that out. And until the next breakdown.